Now if I right click on my data and go to properties to examine it, I should be able to see that it did correctly convert in the XY direction and indeed it did. So one thing important to kind of keep note of is that this is only in the XY direction. If I go take a look at my elevation data here, I can see that this is still indeed in meters. This has not been converted to feet. So I have Google Earth open here, and I'm actually going to zoom in to where Marlet Park is located. And if you don't know the exact location, you can definitely type it in up here at the search. I know where it's at, so I'm just going to zoom in here. And I'm going to close this tour guide thing. Just a bit of noise. And I don't need to actually click on any specific location within Marlette Park. What I'm really paying attention is to my elevation measurements here. And I can see that it's generally around the 1200 range to the 1100 range. And if I go back into my ArcMap document, and I can see just by looking at my elevations here, that that's about three times less. So if you're not familiar with the project site area that you're working in, Google Earth is a great way to tell if you know your elevation information is coming in on meters and feet. Because Google Earth is showing it as in feet, so we know that this is around the 1200 range. And if you go back to, back to ArcMap, we can see that our elevation is definitely in meters because it's about three times less. So to convert my elevation information from meters to feet, what I'm actually going to do is use something called the raster calculator. And we can find that inside of the ARC toolbox. We'll have to navigate to the spatial analyst tools down here towards the bottom. Then we want to look for something called map algebra. And then we can see the raster calculator tool located inside of here. So all I'll do is I'll just double click on this tool to open it. And I don't mean to resize it. I mean to drag it over here a little bit. And right now we can see all of the layers that are inside of our data frame that we could potentially use to run a map algebra type operation. So what we're going to want to do is convert each cell value that is inside of this terrain here, this GT terrain XY feet, we want to convert the elevation information from meters to feet. So in order to convert each cell from meters to feet, we're going to have to figure out exactly, well, how many feet are in a meter. So there are 3.28083999 feet in one meter. So to convert this, I actually need to multiply this times 3.280839. And I usually go out about six or so decimal places for accuracy purposes. And how accurate you really need to be is really dependent upon the type of analysis that you're going to run. So for this one, it doesn't really need to be that super accurate. Down here at the bottom where it says output raster, well, we need to make sure that it gets saved into our geo database, and we can see that that's exactly what's going to happen. Change the name of this. I'm just going to call it G General Terrain T E R, and then I'll name it F T. It's going to be in feet, so maybe I'll call it X Y Z. Whoops, Z X Y Z feet. That kind of helps me know that everything is in feet. And then from here, I'll just go ahead and click OK. And I have the green checkbox over here to letting me know that it was successful. Now I can go ahead and turn off my other one. And if I just quickly over here in the table of contents, just look at my high and low points, I can see that this was successful because that's relatively three times of what that was before. I can right click on this and go to the properties and take a look at my source tab here just to see that everything is as it should be and everything looks good. So I can see that this was fairly successful.